similarities <laughs> between the shoulder and the hip. So we're going to have some muscles that are one joint muscles. So they're going to provide more control, and then we're going to have other muscles that are two joint muscles. So they cross both the hip and the knee. Um, and they're going to be involved with more range of motion things. Movement at two joints. And then the muscles in the hip can be grouped by location. So just like, you know, if we look at the four, like this is, these are flexors, these are extensors. So we're going to look at body surfaces or areas um, to find groups of muscles. And so as far as the hip is concerned, the anterior muscles are going to be your flexors. Okay. So the opposite of that is extension. So the posterior muscles are going to be extensors. So the medial muscles are going to be adductors. So the medial <coughs> muscles, first in the middle, are going to be adductors. And the lateral muscles are going to be adductors. Mm -hmm. Okay? Think about it. So yeah. if I've got muscles here that come together, what are they going to do? I have muscles here right. that come together, what are they going to do? Right. <laughs> and then they're rotators. Huh? Okay, so let's look at our muscle groups, and if you want to, we can pull up my bio digital human and look at them that way too. Yeah. Hey, that looks fun. So let's talk about them first, and then we'll pull up our bio digital human and see what they really look like. So. Anterior, we're going to have a couple of key muscles. One is going to be iliopsoas. It's a combination muscle, iliacus and psoas major. So there's two sort of very distinct parts, and we'll see that when we pull that up on my bio digital human. Um, but basically, where that runs is it, it runs from like your lumbar vertebrae, so the anterior parts of your lumbar vertebrae. So it's coming from like here down to down to here. Okay, so it's not going to be big range of motion, and, and actually what this does is more flex the body onto the femur than flex the femur onto the body. <laughs> for this are going to be rectus femoris. So your quadriceps have quad meanings four. Okay. So rectus femoris is the part that actually crosses both the hip and the knee. Okay. So it attaches up here at the ASIS. The rest of your quads attach right onto the femur, so they only cross the knee. Okay. All right. Let's go medial. I've got a whole bunch of, so those are adductors. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of those, don't we? We've got catenius, we've got adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis. Those are one joint muscles. Our two joint muscle is gracilis. It actually will come down and crust the knee a little bit too. So there's a lot of them. When I was studying neuromuscular massage, which is a very specific technique, you have to know each muscle individually. You have to be able to find each muscle individually. So um, actually, <coughs> in their order of how they're lined up around the pubis. <laughs> okay. Um, my little mnemonic for that is people love great breakfast muffins. Oh, that's, <laughs> more, so that's so great. I love it. I love something like that. I, I, that's just what we came up with. I mean, I'm sure people people love people love great breakfast muffins. Great. Breakfast so pectineus, adductor longus, L. Mm -hmm. Great gracilis, adductor brevis, B brevis, breakfast, adductor magnus muffins. I love it. <coughs> I'll help you with that a little bit. 
That's the like yeah. That's how they're located. Some yeah. Reason? Okay. From on the medial to lateral, or no? I have to go back and look it up. Actually, all right, I'll look. I'm okay. not going to be. I'm not going to be that particular with y'all on test on that. Perfect. But you do need to know that these are the <coughs> adductor muscles. Okay. So you know, like on a quiz, I might say list three of the five. All right. All right, so that's medial posterior, so we're going to go around to the back. So.